The NASA ISRO joint satellite NISAR, touted as the world's most expensive Earth observation satellite, will launch from Sri Harikota on July 30th at 5:40 p.m. Short for NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, NISAR will provide crucial data to help policymakers worldwide craft more effective responses to climate change. Synthetic aperture radar is a microwave imaging device which can see through cloud, haze, dust, rain. That means in cameras cannot image under this condition from satellite. You will see the cloud top images. But if you see through radar, you will be able to see the surface below the cloud and and it is a 24 by 7 it doesn't need a day and night unlike cameras there is no such distinction it can image all the time the mission will help scientists monitor changes in the earth's land and ice surfaces over time and improve understanding of natural disasters like earthquakes volcanic eruptions and landslides A key feature of NISAR is its ability to detect even the slightest ground deformation, changes in the earth's surface caused by shifting magma or tectonic plates. This particular radar has been mission has been defined keeping in mind the requirements of having study the earth ecosystem as well as land deformation, environment as well as cryosphere and various uh, environment studies everybody is hopeful that uh, some scientist will find out some techniques uh, to s- predict earthquake in future using the data from this particular satellite so it will go a long way in having understanding of the earth ecosystem as well as land deformation studies Weighing 2390 kilograms, NISAR will observe Earth with a 242 kilometer swath and high spatial resolution using SweepSAR technology for the first time. It will scan the entire globe every 12 days, delivering all-weather day and night data to support a wide range of applications. SweepSAR is a technique which allows you a wider swath coverage with the very high resolutions because radar systems in general you have to do the trade off between achieving good resolution or high resolution versus wide swath coverage but this technique overcomes that limitation and provides you both wider swath coverage as well as very good or very high resolution so and this is a unique type of technique and both JPL and Space Application Center had developed two independent radars one L band has been developed by JPL and another S band frequency SAR which has been developed by Space Application Center ISRO Ahmedabad The NISA launch marks a milestone in technical cooperation between NASA and ISRO who signed a partnership to jointly develop and launch the satellite nearly a decade ago on September 30th 2014